In Luzhou, the tradition of serving alcohol with breakfast has been passed down through generations. It's an intoxicating mix of spirits and food that gives Lu Zhou a truly unique cuisine. This is Lu Zhou's Taste of Intoxication. Soft tofu is popular in China. In Lu Zhou, it's often served with rice for breakfast. This is a simple combination that has helped the locals begin their day for hundreds of years. If soft and tender tofu with hot chili sauce isn't enough, the locals also enjoy an early sip. It's a tradition that has been around for generations and accompanies many other types of food. There are dozens of sauces that people in Luzhou use with soft tofu. The oil is made from several spices, but the main seasoning is hot pepper. It takes time to prepare dried hot peppers. The chef must control the heat and keep stirring them. The dried peppers are then pounded to a powder. The last step is to add hot oil. A spicy aroma permeates the room. If it's unusual to eat spicy soft tofu, the habit of drinking liquor at the same time is even more unique. People here are very selective about the soft tofu. The one made in Hajiang County with the most traditional method is said to be the best. The soybeans are soaked and sorted. After grinding, the liquid is brought to a boil. The soy milk is then filtered to remove any residue. It is then poured into the pot and heated again. Now its color is pure white. The last step is the most critical one. This salt is used to coagulate the soy milk. The salt is ground into powder and dissolved in the soy milk. An experienced family member steadily pours the brine into the pot. 
soft tofu forms quickly. It looks simple enough, but years of practice are required. If the timing is not right, or the brine is insufficient, the results won't be as good. In half an hour, the soft tofu is done. It will be sold out before the day ends. Eating and drinking puts these old men in a happy mood. A drinking game is in order. <laughs> the game is said to have originated on the docks as workers wanted to have a little fun. It's said that drinking spirits while eating tofu was related to shipping salt. At a wharf where two rivers meet, the early mornings are a busy time. Lu Zhou has long been a water transportation hub. Lu Zhou's custom of drinking at breakfast apparently serves as a reminder of its history in the bustling salt transportation business. Before cooking a fish, the scales are usually removed. But Lu Zhou features a special fish with delicious edible scales. This is Lu Zhou's taste of intoxication. Lu Zhou is on the Yangtze River. In winter, people catch a special fish here, the gudgeon. Many people just want to eat its scales. The family kitchen on this boat is well known for the way it prepares this fish. The cooked fish skin has a beautiful color. The golden scales of the gudgeon are rich in vitamins. Experience teaches the local fishermen the best place on the river and the right time to catch the fish. But it's still not an easy task. Gudgeons should be feeding in one meter deep water now. This is the best spot. 
问题嘛，所以我们长江的五桥段特别的四万公尺。Wen sounds very confident, and after a few minutes, the net is pulled in. Using a net is an efficient way to catch the fish, given that they are not as abundant as before. As for its preparation, deep-fried gudgeon is a much-loved dish here. The fish is similar to a carp, but they are cooked differently. When cleaning the fish, its scales are kept. Once clean, the fish is marinated. This sauce is the special ingredient of this dish. Ah, To preserve the nutritional value of the scales, the fish is quickly cleaned and marinated. Once it's drunk, it needs to be fried first over low heat. The oil temperature is adjusted according to the size of the fish. In a few minutes, the fish is removed from the pot. The next step is to prepare the stock. Pepper is fried first, followed by other spicy ingredients, similar to those used in the dipping sauces for soft tofu. People in Luzhou are familiar with these tastes. Water is added to the mixture, and it's brought to a boil. The residue is removed. A thick stock is ready. The fried fish is put back into the pot and cooked for another 30 minutes or so in the spicy mixture. When the stock is almost dried up, the dish is done. The whole kitchen is filled with a delicious aroma. This is the famed dish of deep-fried gudgeon. The chef is still busy preparing a few other items that will enhance the taste of the dish. For the final touch, some rice wine is heated and poured onto the fish. It can now be served. Oh, 我们在制作的时候遇到工序
It seems this fish just wouldn't be the same without alcohol. No wonder it has such an intoxicating taste. As a city renowned for Chinese wine, Lu Zhou has many old cellars. People drink three times a day. There is even food for hangovers. This is Lu Zhou's taste of intoxication. A common snack in Lu Zhou is called yellow cake. It's made from glutinous rice and is eaten in many different ways. It may seem to be just a sweet dessert, but for local people, it's more than that. Chicago 这就成了一种馈赠客人的最佳礼品。这里边是一种传统。哎，传统文化。Yellow cake is perfect for those who love to drink. It's usually made and sold in the same place. The cooking time is lengthy. The yellow cake is steamed for two hours. As the cakes steam, the kitchen is filled with a sweet aroma. Customers are already lining up in front of the store. The sweet aroma comes from the brown sugar. It's added when the steam cooked glutinous rice is poured into a big pot. The rice is stirred over high heat to ensure an even distribution of the sugar. Fragrant rice milk is added and partially cooked in the heat. After 40 minutes of fermentation, the rice is dried in a mold and cut into small pieces. The snack is called yellow cake because of the brown sugar. It helps with the stomach, hence the tradition of eating these cakes before drinking. The leaves wrapping up the cake also contribute to its flavor. The blue ginger leaves contain an aromatic oil that explains the unique fragrance of the cake. Local people use the leaves as part of a herbal cold remedy. The cakes wrapped in leaves are immediately put in the steamer. The leaves interact with the sugar to create a unique flavor. The popularity of yellow cake is also related to alcohol.
Lu Zhou's alcoholic spirits have been known for over a thousand years. Some old distilleries have existed for more than 400 years and are still in operation. The intimate partnership between spirits and food is particularly evident in Lu Zhou desserts. This is a well-known Lu Zhou snack called Sweet Pearls. Like yellow cake, it's made of glutinous rice and served as an appetizer. As suggested by the name, the tiny rice balls look like pearls. A bite will reveal their inner beauty. Chef Wu is well known for the unique Lu Zhou desserts he makes, including sweet pearls. In the kitchen, Chef Wu demonstrates how to make sweet pearls. For the filling, granulated sugar and sesame are mixed. A fragrant seasoning is added. The sweet aroma comes from alcohol. Only vintage liquor is used. Chef Wu alone knows how much of an amount to add. Once the filling is ready, thin wrappers are made from glutinous rice flour. Soaked sago pearls are added. The pearls are steamed over low heat. The filling of sweet pearls is another example of the love people in Lujo have for alcohol. Most of the liquor here is stored in natural caves, but some is stored below ground. Believe it or not, this vegetable garden is filled with buried jars. Thanks to these storage methods, the fragrance of liquor has been present in Lu Zhou for a thousand years. This has had a lasting impact on Lu Zhou cuisine. From soft tofu to deep fried fish to yellow cakes, one can always experience the taste of intoxication, the trademark of Lu Zhou. <laughs>